I am delighted to be here on Eastern Long Island in New York for another installment of Architecture Across America. Today we're visiting a coastal living show house that fits the form of a typical East Coast shingle style home, yet breaks the mold of that form by adding energy, contrast, and color to the mix. So we're here with Fred Through, the architect of this beautiful home. And Fred, tell us what kind of a style of home this is. It, it's shingle style, which is common out here on the east end of Long Island. We've uh, changed it up a little bit in this case um, to uh, just add a little variety to it. We've actually taken it a little bit further this time and tried to switch it up a little bit. So instead of having the natural shingles on the exterior, we went with a white stain. We chose to use black on the windows to really bring kind of a pop to the whole elevation. What was your vision when you were designing this magnificent property? Uh, just a place where people could come and entertain with friends and family and enjoy the Hamptons in the summertime. Fred, one of the first things I noticed when I walked in, it was so bright and airy. The use of color internally, the height of the ceilings are 10 feet. We have eight foot doors large window expanses, it all lets that natural light come in and filter through the house. Marvin provides us uh, unlimited um, details as far as that's concerned. If we wanted something special, they would provide that also. And the inside matches the outside to a point, so you had a little flexibility with both areas. Yeah, there's a total coordination on color on, on the behalf of Meg Braff. She did a wonderful job, and you experience that from inside to outside and between spaces internally also. Um, otherwise, the, you know, we try to blur that line between indoor and outdoor so that we can go outside and entertain. We have covered porches where people can sit and get out of the sun or the weather. Um, we have the lovely pool and the pool house, and it's all about entertaining and having a good time. Fred, this is a show house. Where do the proceeds go from this? All of the proceeds from uh, the Coastal Living Show House are going to the Conscience Bay Hatchery, um, which is giving back to the environment and all the bays that are all around the East End here. It is a big part of why people come out here. It's important to preserve them. So we're here with Anthony Balducci, the builder of this spectacular home. And Anthony, talk about some of the challenges of building a home like this. On this project, once Coastal Living got involved for the show house, time became the biggest challenge. So where normally this would take about 18 months, we did it in five and a half. How is that even possible? A lot of long days and a lot of great people. So do you have to take a lot of different things into consideration? Weather, obviously, is probably a big factor. Climate, when putting in windows, and even the exterior setting, too? Well, we definitely have to address the four seasons, and the town is pretty strict with certain energy efficiency codes. The house is all airtight, and the heating system, the cooling system will work well all year round. And what was it like bringing Fred's vision to life? with this gorgeous home. We wanted to do a traditional Hampton style house with the shingles, um, but give it a modern feel, so we went with the white and black. We are used to doing spec houses, which are really pretty vanilla. Meg Braff certainly put a twist on this with all the different color and the different wall coverings and grass cloths, and we've got some beautiful tile that's all handmade. And the different colors, too. I mean, you have so many different rooms that are decorated so beautifully, many bedrooms. There's a theater downstairs, mm -hmm. correct? Yes, there is. Uh, Meg Braff really made me a believer in color, which is not something you always see out here, but it turned out beautiful. One of my favorite parts, too, is the kitchen. Not only the bright blue that we're in now, but it's kind of like a giant backsplash. It's a wall mm -hmm. of backsplash. Is, right. is that what you would call it? Well, the backsplash is fire clay tiles. It's all handmade, hand-painted in California. We did the open shelves to kind of keep with that Hamptons casual lifestyle so that a house full of guests will feel comfortable and just sort of help themselves. When I just walk throughout this house, I just see openness and light and airy. Was that your goal? Absolutely. I think it's important on any house to keep it light and bright and keep the living spaces indoor-outdoor. It kind of goes along with the warm feel of this region, too, does it not? It does. Yeah. You know I'm never leaving, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. After spending a day at this amazing coastal living show home, I don't want to go. It's been lovely being in such a carefully thought out home in such a beautiful portion of the country. And I hope we've given you a few ideas as to how to make your home a relaxing haven for your family.